Many modern RVs have solar panels installed to generate additional power. Your solar system consists of solar panels from which the power flows through to the solar regulator or solar controller and then on to the battery for storage. Some RVs will even be fitted with a solar system display unit. Your solar system is actually very simple to use. It's fully automated, so there's very little for you to do. A Sunliner installs solar panels on the roof of our RVs. The purpose is to absorb the sun's rays and convert it into power. Now generally, the bigger the solar panel, the better the output. And additionally, the more solar panels you have, then the greater the overall output of the system. The next step in the system is the solar regulator or controller. It's located near the solar display, often in an overhead cupboard. There it is there. Now it's a small box containing circuitry placed between the solar panel and the battery. It regulates or controls the amount of electricity coming from the solar panels to the battery in order to avoid the battery from becoming overcharged. The electricity generated is stored in the RV's house battery located under here. Now it doesn't matter how much power your solar setup can produce in one day, your batteries have a limited capacity in terms of the amount of power they can store. If you have one installed, you can check on the performance of your solar system through the solar display, which may be located above the entry door of your RV. Within the satchel of paperwork and instruction manuals that came with your RV, you will find a copy of this, the operating instructions for your solar system. This includes the safety instructions and troubleshooting suggestions. We strongly encourage you to refer to this manual. Now it may seem obvious to some, but it is worth pointing out that for your solar panels to produce power, they do need to be in direct line of the sun. Parking under a shady tree, for instance, may seem like a great idea, but it will impact on your solar panel's ability to charge your battery. If it is a cloudy or overcast day, your solar panels will produce some electricity, but they'll operate with much more efficiency if it's a day of full sun. And of course, your solar panels won't work at all once the sun does go down. So, if solar is the only source of power feeding your RV house battery, then be mindful of what appliances are in use after dark. If you decide to increase your solar capacity, it's also important to ensure that you increase your solar regulator or solar controller, as well as your battery storage capacity. That's in order to efficiently manage the extra electricity supply. Dirt and dust on your solar panels will affect their efficiency. In most cases, the rain will take care of the problem for you by washing off the panels. However, if you're traveling to drought affected or dusty areas, you may need to give your solar panels a bit of a gentle clean using a mild detergent and a soft brush like this one. Just give it a hose down before leaving them to dry in the sun. Thanks for watching this Sunliner recreational vehicle how-to video.